Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Well, the show season is over, obviously. So this is when we really start to see the antique, uh, classic, and collectible cars roll in for a concours detail. And of course, the term is overused, meaning close to perfect or as perfect as you're going to get. But it is well beyond uh, what an original car rolling off the factory floor would look like. Uh, this is not a, an engine bay uh, detail where we're turning a greasy, dirty engine bay into a brand new one. This would be the next step. This is where they would bring the car to me after that detail is done to take it to the next level. As you can see here, a lot of people would probably think this is ready for show. Well, it's not. It's it's not close. And you're going to see the video how far we've gone. There, it's obviously dirty. It is to me. Uh, there are specks of paint, grease all over the place. It's rather dull. It needs to be um, spruced up, shined up a bit, cleaned up, and protected and preserved until the next show season. That's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to take you along for the ride. So the first thing that I'm going to do is fire up the air compressor and we're going to blow away any loose debris, any grit, any leaves or anything that has settled in the cracks and crevices and corners of this engine bay compartment. Okay, now we're going to plug in the chief steamer and bring that up to temperature. And we're also going to add a chemical to its container, the Showroom Elegance from Extreme Solutions. This is a good rinseless. You can also use it as a quick detailer. It has many functions, but when teamed up with the uh, higher pressure and the warmer water from the steamer, it makes uh, great use for in engine compartments such as this where you want a little bit of moisture but not too much to damage any of the materials or the inner workings of this area. Depending on the pressure and the temperature of your unit depends on how far to hold the nozzle back to be effective yet not damage the materials. The tool does a fantastic job on its own without any agitation in this situation anyways and we just simply wipe the moisture away and move on. So this is what we're bringing up from the surface just with the steamer alone with very uh, gentle chemicals. Again, those walking by the engine compartment would think it's it's ready to go. It's it's good to go for a another show, but that's why it's here to take it to the next level, and that's what we're doing. And of course, the closer to the engine we get, the more oil and grease and contaminations that run off onto the painted surfaces. And again, we're, we're not going to switch tools. We're going to stick with the steamer for this step.
much better. And I have a whole crate full of microfibers just dedicated to the engine compartment jobs. Now, moving on. Yes, the light contaminates dirt that's uh, removed, cleaned up, leaving behind some of these specks. It could be tar, it could be specks of paint from uh, painting some of the engine compartment parts here. Who knows? I'm going to get rid of it with a reliable chemical, and that is Goof Off Pro. With the heavier and now the lighter layers of dirt and contaminants removed, we can kind of get a sense of where the paint stands in the engine compartment. And it has a lot of room for improvement where the external painted surfaces are in the mid to high 90s, reaching triple digits. Let's get on to the radiator here. We're going to really be careful. We're going to be gentle with this area. We don't want to bend any of the fins. So we'll grab a detailing brush with soft bristles. And we'll combine that with forced air from the air chuck, only uh, squeezing the trigger about an eighth of an inch just to get a little bit of air out there. We'll agitate the area lightly with the detail brush, blow away the dirt, uh, the bugs, the contaminants away from the fins, and be done with it. Sometimes that's just not enough. We'll have to bring an APC into the picture. Any APC will do to get some of the bug guts that is just jammed and crammed into the fins of the radiator. I will squirt that into the detailing brush. A little bit of agitation will work it free. And again, bringing in the air chuck just with some very light air pressure to remove the residue. Now, moving right along, let's brighten up the painted surfaces in the engine compartment. These are going to be the tools of choice for me to reach in some of the tighter areas. And we're going to use the Built Hammer uh, Cleanser Polish to get the job done.
Just like the painted external surfaces, these surfaces are painted with single stage paint and you will need to either change your pads out frequently or clean them often to keep them effective as they will get transfer from that single stage up into the pad. I have no problems whatsoever polishing by hand, especially in the areas that you cannot reach with a polisher. Angel Wax Perfect Polish is the perfect cleanser slash polish to get that done. Clean it up a bit and give it a little bit of a sheen. Now, moving on to protection and add a little bit more gloss. Yes, I still use Cupion 2.0. Absolutely fantastic for what it is when it comes to everything. Application, durability, gloss. And I'm simply going to spray into the areas. Uh, application videos are uh, on the channel. They're early videos, but if you reach back and search, you'll find them. Now, Angel Wax Corona for the plastic and rubber surfaces in the engine compartment. They will be conditioned and protected with Corona. And finally, built hammer atomic will be used for an anti-corrosion agent in the engine compartment, spraying all of the exposed metal surfaces, nuts, bolts, clamps, you name it. And after half to three quarters of a day, we finally have the concourse finish for the engine compartment. It's ready for shows once again.
The conversation often comes up, what do I do with my microfiber towels, the ones used in the ceramic coating? They go in a bin and they get used in the engine compartment, turn out like this and go into the dumpster. That'll do it for this video. I just wanted to share um, something a little bit different with you today. Um, happy you stopped by. Glad to spend a few minutes with you and catch you in the next video.